I'm PJ Donoghue and this is, uh, you're in the townland of Burdaken in County Monaghan here. Through that gate you're into Fermanagh in Northern Ireland. Apart from an electric meter, that little bit that jorts out is in the south and my electric meter is from the south. My ESB, my electric, comes from the south. So you pay your bills? In the south. In the south? Yeah. <laughs> and I pay my rates, house rates in the north, in uh, Fermanagh. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've been in here 40 years in this place here, this end. But I've been uh, all my life, I'm 74, I've been in, all, in that house all my life. Uh, in, when I was a younger man, this was just a, a garden along here, no road. And the spike closed the roads, put in sp steel spikes. And there was a mill down here made spades, and he couldn't get his produce out. He was in the south, so uh, they made this little bit of road, and he could continue on through the south, around the back roads, to Clonus or Monaghan. And you had, you said you had a little shop? I had a little shop here, yes. What were you selling? Groceries, groceries, yeah. Border shop, they called them, yeah. And was there a lot of smuggling around here? Yeah, well, there was a lot of stuff was cheaper here. Bread and butter and everything was cheaper in Northern Ireland than in the South. But eventually prices leveled out and I stopped. Closed up business. <laughs> you closed after the agreement or, or before? Oh, uh, before the agreement, yes. I have the best of both worlds. I'm North, South, I have to go where I like. I hope it stays that way and Brexit doesn't interfere with that. Do you think it could interfere with that? Uh, well, if they close up the roads and put checkpoints on them and that. And this, the, the, the way years ago there was just the main road, Newtown Butler Road, you'd have to go way around the country to go in that way to Clonus. Maybe five, six miles to go, where it's only one mile here. And that road here, was it uh, an open road? Was it checkpoints? No, there never was a checkpoint on this road, but when the, when the troubles were on, they closed the road with the spikes, the steel spikes. Anywhere there was a border across, they closed the road, you see. What do you expect from the Brexit? I hope it doesn't. <laughs> At my age, it's not going to affect me much anyhow, but I hope that, that uh, things stay the same as they are. We don't want the inconvenience of travelling around through checkpoints and everything else, you know. And apart from checkpoints, how do you think your life may change because of the Brexit? I don't think it'll really change, no, no.